at it again with some runway recreations and this all started because this right here we're going to recreate and the mula mister spring 2010 i got them on the real real and they've been on my wish list for eons this collection was groundbreaking for me i was 20 years old this aesthetic very rungy very rock and roll punk was everything I wanted and more. The runway look was very cool. I thought to myself, yeah, yeah this is something that I really want to do. I did some quick research and I learned how complex the collection really is. This was the era of Rick Owens' new version of a femme fatale. That really resonated with the whole fashion aesthetic around at the time. The Andami the Mister Woman is a woman that is free and she doesn't really give a fuck about what men think. It's very sexy in a mysterious way, even though it's very naked, but still it's not sexy as the first thing that comes to your mind when you think of sexy. It's not obvious, even though it is obvious. There's a lot of bird print and I remember that collection so vividly like it was yesterday and I wanted everything but I never got my hands on anything because I was still studying. So anyways, I already applied my makeup because this skin is going through it and I'm done with it. But I'm still missing the lips because according to this beauty look right here, the lips are muted. It's very obvious that it's not a nude lipstick, it's the base. And I just applied the La Mer soft fluid in linen. It's a little bit darker than my skin, but it's fine. I also have shell, but it's a little bit more pink. This is a little bit more yellow, and this is a bit more pink. Yeah, you can definitely see the difference of tone. So today I went with linen. It looks like they have a lot of contour. I have this, this itty bitty Kevin Aquan contour creamy contour. So I'm gonna grab a little bit for my nose and my cheeks to add a bit more definition like that. And for the eyes, this little palette would be perfect. This is very punk. This is an old NARS, but I love my old NARS collections. There's this silver tone here, which will be close enough to what they have on the inner corner and I'm gonna use it and the black to do the little black detail on the eye. Going to use eyeliner. This is a Wet n Wild Mega Last on the waterline. I'm gonna grab this Bobbi Brown liner brush to do the little black. So it doesn't look like it starts on the inner corner. It starts somewhere around here, like so. the silver brows very fluffy some models don't look like they have mascara and some do I'm gonna go with it so this is what the makeup looks like I put this little vest to give it more of a tailored feel to this look. I have this faux leather material and I already cut a band that will go all around. The original piece has some stitching so that it doesn't look flat on the head. It, it really molds to the shape of the head, but we're gonna make do with what we have. So I need to let some pieces on the front that they have to be trapped underneath the band. And I need to do this. So I think this is a little too long. So I'm going to do something like this. I'll secure it with a bobby pin. It's a little bit shorter. I'm gonna leave it as is. I'm going and I'm going to fold the edges. I just did this piece with the zippers. It's originally a necklace and I found it also on the real real but I kind of debated whether or not I needed it and when I decided okay I want it, it was gone. <laughs> like literally a day apart 
from when I saw it. So fake it till you make it. I found a tutorial on how to do the real necklace piece. But for now, I'm gonna do with this. I'm gonna place it like this, secure it with a polyfin. And voila! I feel like I'm a part of Andy Mister's tribe.